In this lecture, we're going to be focusing on conditional rendering. So this is verifying whether a DOM node is or isn't rendered correctly. We have this very simple admin component. It has two anchor links. The first one is going to be to a profile and that one is always visible. The second one is going to be a link to the admin profile and that's only going to be visible if the admin variable is true, which is false by default. So what we're going to do is write three tests. One to ensure the profile is rendered and two to ensure that admin is or isn't rendered depending on the value of the admin variable. I've already prepared the tests, so let's go ahead and start writing them. The first one we're going to focus on is the profile link, which is always visible. I'm going to create a new wrapper and call mount and just pass in my app here, and that's going to get everything mounting. Let's go ahead and do a console log on the wrapper just to see what's going on. And we're expecting to see profile, and that's profile only because admin is not going to be rendered by default. And you can see we are getting profile here. Let's go ahead and write an assertion to make sure that is rendering and continues to render correctly. So what we're going to do is find that node and then assert that the correct text is rendered. So the first thing we're going to do is do expect and pass in wrapper and we're going to use find here and we're going to find using the profile ID. So I'm going to pass in profile ID here and then we're going to assert that the text is going to be equal to what it should be, which is going to be my profile. So I'm going to pass in my profile here. Let's go ahead and save this off and it should be working and everything should be passing. And so it is. Just to verify this, I'm going to make it fail and it is failing for the correct reasons. Just as a bit of an aside, there is another way to find elements. Instead of using find, you can use get. And the difference is get is going to fail if it doesn't find the element and find is not going to fail. So if you'd like to verify an element does exist, you can use get. Find is very useful when you're looking for an element that may or may not exist. Anyway, now that we've seen that, I'm going to leave this one as find for now. Let's go ahead and write the test for the admin link. And this is only going to be rendered if admin is equal to true. And we're going to set that to be true by using the data mounting option. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to pass in data here and that's going to return an object and we're going to set admin to be true and that is going to cause that to be rendered. Now we're going to update our selector. I'm going to look for admin and we're just going to say that it should be present. So I'm going to use the, the exist selector and this should be true. And that means the DOM node is going to exist in the DOM hierarchy. Let's save it off and see what happens. And everything is now passing. So it's everything has been done correctly. Let's go ahead and make it fail just to make sure it's failing for the right reasons. If I set this one to be false, it should be failing. And there we go. The test is failing for all the right reasons. Finally, let's go ahead and write the last test. I'm just going to copy this one to save a bit of time. And we're going to reverse the condition here. So it should not exist. So we can just say to be false. And that is going to pass if we just go ahead and delete this data mounting option because the default value is going to be false for admin. And that is all passing as well. An alternative to this would be saying not to be. So I could say not to be in here and then we could just pass in true, depending which one you like. I think the other one is more readable, so I'm going to leave it like that. Just as a bit of an aside, we have seen how you can test VF, but we haven't seen how this would work for VShow. If I head back to my component and change this to be VShow, we're going to see some of our tests are going to fail now. And the reason for this is if you're using VShow, the DOM node is going to be rendered either way. It's just going to be hidden from the user using a styling CSS. So what we're going to do is see how you can update the test to use VShow instead of VIF. We can't use exists anymore because the DOM node is always going to exist when you use vshow. What we can do is use the is visible selector instead. And this is going to see if the DOM node is, in the, in, is present, but it's not been shown, AKA it's been hidden by CSS. In this case, I'm just going to update both of these from exists to be is visible. And if we save this off, everything should still be passing. And so it is. And you can see the difference between vif and vshow. If we're going to be using vif, that means the DOM node is not going to be rendered at all. And in that case, you need to use exists. If you're using vshow, it is going to be rendered either way. It's just going to be hidden using CSS. So you need to use the is visible, uh, the is visible property to test those ones instead.